Tēnā koe, haere mai, welcome to this video on selective mutism. I would like to begin with a whakatoki that provides an important message about how language is a taonga, a treasure, and the necessity of using it. Tokureo toku ohu ohu. Tokureo toku mapihi moria. My language is my awakening. My language is the window to my soul. Language is how we build relationships, gain a sense of belonging, learn to read and write. Imagine the things we would not be able to discover without the ability to communicate. This is the reality for children with selective mutism. Selective mutism is a rare anxiety disorder. While it is normal for children to feel anxious about settling in at a new school, separating with their parents or interacting with new peers, once you add the inability to speak, the behaviour becomes consistent with a selective mutism diagnosis. Just like with anxiety, selective mutism is a reaction to stress, the stress of needing to speak. This reaction is predictable. It will usually occur in the same environments, contexts, and with the same people. A common example is the child freezing up. The freeze reaction will often come as a surprise to the families, friends, or people who know the child well, as they will see them as a different person who is confident and talkative. That is, within an environment the child considers to be safe. This is where it becomes crucial to note that selective mutism is not something the child can control and is not a form of manipulation. It is easy to think that a child with selective mutism is choosing not to speak in certain situations since they can in others. They may be wanting to speak, but literally unable to do so. The good news is, it is something that can be worked on and improved with patience and care from the right people. Now I invite you to watch a clip that shows Danny's mother and teacher applying a gradual exposure technique called fading in and out to enable Danny to overcome his fear of speaking to his teacher. <laughs> 